Hi everyone, it's Lisa Brown with InkandInspirations.com, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. In this video, we're going to be making a card that is a thinking of you card that would be perfect to send to just anyone. And I'm using the new Beauty of Friendship bundle from the Stampin' Up! annual catalog. It has these images with these trees and, and beautiful sentiments along with these dies. And I've done some of the die cutting ahead of time just to save a little bit of time. So let me show you what we're going, going to need to make this card. I am starting with a mossy meadow base cut it five and a half by eight and a half. And so I'm going to fold that and match those corners and give it a good crease with my bone folder. So this is a standard size card and the bone folder gives it a good crease when you fold it in half there and makes a neat finish for your card. Next is a piece of bumblebee cardstock, cut it four by five and a quarter. And I've already run this through my stamping cut and emboss machine with this painted 3D textured, I mean embossing folder, I should say. And look at that texture on there. I thought that would make a really interesting background. So that is going to be that layer that goes on the card base. And then I have some designer paper. Now this is from the Beauty of the Earth. It goes with this um, stamp set and die set. Lovely coordination, beautiful colors. And let me see, I've cut two pieces already. This is two by five and a quarter. You see those trees in the mossy meadow and then the bumblebee. And then the reverse side is this wood grain. And so I cut two pieces that are going to layer like that for my card front, but we're still going to see some of this textured layer showing beneath. So this is two by five and a quarter. This is one by five and a quarter. Let's go ahead and start building that up and we will adhere it to the textured piece. I'm using some of our liquid glue, which is great for when you're uh, adhering paper over a textured piece. It gets in those grooves. <clears throat> So I'm leaving about a quarter inch or so over here showing on the left-hand side, okay? So let me give that a good press. And then I have this piece of the wood grain, which is the flip side of this foliage paper. And I'm going to overlap that about a half to three quarters of an inch. I want, let's see, let me measure that for you. That's at least about an inch and a half, maybe a little bit more showing of the textured bumblebee piece. So I'm gonna flip that over and I have a little bit of extra here that I'm just gonna shave off. Sometimes when you um, run your cardstock through an embossing folder, it shrinks it up just a tad and you might have to flip it over and even out your um, designer paper or the layers that are on top. <clears throat> okay, so now we can go ahead and uh, apply that to our card base. So let's put some liquid glue there. Trying to get close to the corners and edges, but not too close so that the glue doesn't come seeping out around the edges. And now I have some die cut pieces that I've already done here. This is, you can see the foliage for the trees. Let me show you these dies. I used this one, very intricate cut, but it cuts great with the Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. And then here is the die to cut the tree with the branches, okay? <clears throat> so now, I'm gonna try using some of my fine tip glue. Uh, usually when I have something that's this fine and this intricate, this glue works well. You can also use our adhesive sheets and run that through uh, your die cutting machine with the sheet stuck on the back and it makes it like a big sticker. I always forget to do that. I don't know why. So I find that I can use the glue and I'm just going to press that down. Do you see how I'm lining up the trunk with the edge of that wood grain? I wanted some of the um, branches here to overlap on that bumblebee part 
And now I'm going to adhere this to the top. Again, I'm going to use a little bit of the fine tip glue. It has a very fine tip point and lets a little bit of glue come out at a time. I'm going to take this and go over top. Give it a little bit of a press. And then I'm going to set that aside and let that dry a bit. And then we're going to work on our sentiment. So for this one, I'm bringing in my mini stamp and cut and emboss machine because for this particular die in this set, it's just a small frame and I can use it for this one. For these larger dies, you would need the larger die cut and embossing machine. So let me just slide this through and I have a piece of basic white and I'm going to die cut before I stamp because the stamps are photopolymer and I can see exact placement and it usually works out just fine. So let me run this through and we're gonna get our little label. Move the machine out of the way. And it has some beveled edges. I don't know if you can see that, but it's really neat and pretty. So now, I'm going to get the sentiment, thinking of you. And here's a tip. Uh, photopolymer stamps can bend and are very flexible, okay? And so you want the alignment to be correct when you mount it on your stamp. So I'm just laying it on my grid sheet straight across that center line. Then I'm going to take my clear block and pick it up, just like that. All right, so now I'm going to ink this up with Mossy Meadow ink. And again, it's photopolymer, so I'm going to, going to be able to stamp and see my placement. I'm gonna move it down a bit. You can still see it here. And I'm gonna stamp that in the center, just like that. Okay, so now, we're just about done with our card. I'm going to take some mini uh, Stampin' Dimensionals that are somewhere here on my desk. Here they are. And put those, about three of them at least, behind this label. This is gonna, going to get it to stand out just a little bit away from that tree trunk and then the emboss piece on the back. So I'm removing the paper adhesive, I mean the paper that protects the adhesive there. And I'm going to line that up, come almost to the edge of this bumblebee here, and in kind of midway on the trunk. Okay? Now, you could leave it just like this, okay? Or you could add a little bit of bling. So I love these champagne rhinestones. They seem to just go with almost anything. I think they're great and they're beautiful too. So let me find my, I'll just use my paper snips here since my take your pick tool has escaped me. And I'm going to use five of these. I'm using one of each size here at the top. Oop, I missed one. Here we go. And then two down here at the bottom. And she is a large one. And then one of the mid size. Okay, now for the inside, when I send a thinking of you card, I usually leave it pretty bl blank space on the inside so I can write uh, a message. For this one, just to add a little bit of color, I'm taking a strip one by four of that same designer paper on the front, and I'm just gonna line it across the bottom there, and that always makes for a pretty inside for the card. And it's so easy to do. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and put this on the inside. 
and there we have it. Okay, I hope you will give that a try. If you need any help with anything, let me know. Visit my website at inkandinspirations.com. While you're there, be sure you sign up for my mailing list so that you can get all the things and exclusive project ideas in your inbox every week. And also, uh, let me know if I can help you with anything. Thanks for tuning in. Take care. Bye-bye.